Hello everyone, welcome to Science Non Science. I am Prasanna Deshmukh and today we will be discussing on Comet Swan. Now this is a newly discovered comet and the first discovery happened in April when one amateur astronomer was looking through the archival data of one of the space observatory and found this comet. As I said, this is a newly discovered comet and it is in the constellation PCS as seen from the Earth. Now, the comet Swan is officially designated as C2020 F8 Swan and will be close to Earth on 13th of May 2020. So, as you can see, this is an image taken with the telescope and a very good camera. And as you can see, there is a huge tail in the back as this comet is approaching towards the sun. It is forming this tail because of the ionization of the gases in this particular comet due to the solar radiation. Now this image is taken on 2nd of May and the spatial extent of this object in the sky is of the order of 8 degree when you consider its tail. So it's quite long comet as seen from Earth in the space. So about its discovery, so in early April Mr. Metizo found a little blob of light nobody else had noted on a photo taken on 25th of March 2020. Now he scanned through the images from Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, a NASA and ESA spacecraft that orbits the Sun about a million miles from Earth. Now the spacecraft has a camera called SWAN and this SWAN means solar wind anisotopies which is sensitive to ultraviolet light and used to look at hydrogen gas in solar neighborhood. Now the SWAN camera is great at detecting comets as they shine brightly in UV due to the sublimation of water ice when it approaches near the sun. So this is the path of this comet uh, as on 13th of May it will be close to earth as seen here. So this is a plane of earth as well as our solar system and this comet is going at an inclinated orbit around the sun. Now this is the first time this comet is seen. This is a newly discovered comet and as I said its closest approach to the earth is on 13th of May which is today and as it passes further it will be close to sun on 27th of May 2020. This is another image. In this image I would like to emphasize that in the plane of our solar system which is if you consider horizontal, this comet is going in an inclined orbit of 110 degrees, which is a huge inclination. Because of that, what will happen is as this comet is entering in our solar system plane from the bottom, as I said, on 13th of May, it will be close to Earth, which means it is in this plane. And as it is moving further towards the sun, this is a, a parabolic orbit. So it will appear to be coming from the southern part of the sky and uh, eventually it will move in the northern part of the sky. So which means this comet is a very good target of opportunity to see for the people who are in southern hemisphere. So before going into details, let's try to understand what are the comets. Now comets originate as frozen chunks of gas and dust, planetary leftovers that have been sitting in our solar system deep freezers known as Oud Cloud and Kuiper Belt ever since the beginning of our solar system almost 4.5 billion years ago. Every once in a while the gravitational nudge from a passing by star uh, dislodges one of these leftover snowballs and it falls towards the sun. Astronomers suspect that Swan is one of the fresh comets newly arrived from the outer realms of our solar system and becomes a very precious object to be studied. So this is a time domain uh, image taken of Comet Swan on 1st of May and as you can see its tail is evolving with respect to time and this tail is leaded by a coma. So this is a coma and this is a tail. Now typically a comet has two tails. One is called as iron tail or gas tail and the second is called as dust tail. Now iron tail forms first and then dust tail forms. So as this comet is moving towards the sun so because of the radiation pressure coming from the sun, uh, iron tail gets formed and as you can see this is a gas and ions in its tail. Uh, typically these 
ion tail is always in the line joining sun and the comet and away from the comet whereas the other tail which is a dust tail tends to fall towards the orbit of the uh, comet so now if you imagine that comet is going in this direction uh, this is our comet coma and the blue one is the ion tail which is always pointing away from the sun okay and the yellow one is nothing but the dust tail which is formed out of the dust and ice on this comet which starts forming a tail when it starts coming closer and closer to the sun and this tail tends to fall towards the orbit as you can see so let's try to see how bright is this comet now this comet is about as bright as the faintest star that can be seen with the naked eye so typically humans can see uh, stars of the magnitude of fifth or sixth in astronomical language the fifth and sixth magnitude stars now astronomers best guess suggests that this comet will get three to four times brighter when it is moving f uh, towards the sun now in terms of astronomical magnitudes it may become uh, as bright as 3.5 magnitude now if a third magnitude comet were to visible in a dark skies even suburban observers would see it so typically uh, the city light is of the order of three to four uh, magnitude sometimes it can be even five in a metro city uh, and if you go in the remote villages it will be even better than that so uh, a comet which is which is of the magnitude of 3 or 3.5 should be visible from the cities as well but in case of swan it never gets far away from the sun uh, during its best part of its brightening so hence uh, it will not be visible so easily uh, and it will be best to use a pair of binocular or telescope to see this comet in the early hours this is an image of the same comet taken at different times the first one is on 13th of april and the last one with the huge tail is on 30th of april uh, and the magnitude is changing quite rapidly with 30th its apparent magnitude is around 5 whereas when it was discovered it was around 7.8 so where to see this comet uh, as I said, Comet Swan is now sticking through the constellation pieces at a magnitude of 5. Uh, it will still be hard to see if you live in mid-latitudes of north. So, at its best, the comet will be hanging low in the northeastern sky just before dawn. Now, today only I got to see some of the images taken by some of my friends in northern part of India and they were able to take very good pictures of this comet. Of course, not with a brilliant tail, but they were able to see this comet now but people who are in the southern part of the hemisphere of earth will be able to see this comet uh, what will happen is later in may uh, and in june people in the northern hemisphere will get another chance to see this comet during the evening twilights and one of the reason for that is now this comet is approaching from the southern part as seen from earth southern part of the solar system and uh, it will be visible more towards the southern part of the globe whereas as it uh, passes over the sun it will start appearing just after the sunset for the northern hemisphere people as i said where to see this comet you have to get up early in the morning around four to five that is the best time to see this comet because after five uh, there will be uh, sunlight which will be reflected from the uh, sky so at a very lower altitudes from the ground okay uh, in the constellation of Perseus to Perseus okay uh, this comet is moved in this background of stars and presently it is in Perseus constellation it will be uh, moving further towards the Aries then Triangulum and then uh, towards the Algol star in the Perseus constellation so if you want to see this comet uh, get up early in the morning and see towards the northeast region uh, in these constellations at particular days and around two hours before the sunrise now in order to see this comet uh, this comet will pass at about 8.33 crore kilometers which is around 0.57 astronomical units so first thing is we don't have to worry that this comet is going to come and hit the earth it is far away from earth uh, next is comet swan will be visible from naked eyes only to those who live in south of 
equator so as i said because it is coming approaching towards our solar system from the southern part uh, it will be visible uh, brilliantly for them uh, for people in india uh, as india is in the northern part of the equator uh, it will not be possible to see this comet by naked eyes but surely sky watchers in india can see this comet uh, with the help of a telescope or binocular as i said my friend was able to see it just today so further uh, comet swan will go around the sun on 27th of may from about 0.43 astronomical unit uh, which is again a very huge distance and some of the models of comet swan behavior have suggested that it may peak up in brightness early in june but comets are notoriously dynamic as you might have heard about a comet called as atlas which fell apart into pieces while it was going towards the sun in late april so it got disintegrated into pieces and we were not able to see it with the naked eyes of course many people were able to take its pictures and photographs through telescopes and this is the image taken by nasa's hubble space telescope such a precious telescope was also used for imaging this disintegration of comet at last now initially it was seen on 20th april by hubble space telescope that it was having almost 30 pieces whereas as time progressed this comet started disappearing and in this image taken on 23rd of april there are 25 pieces of this comet so yeah this comet broke into pieces and disappeared so in summary i would say that though we were not able to see comet at last we have now best chance to see comet swan which is the first time visitor to our solar system or uh, rather our sun and uh, there is another good news that there is comet called new wise which is c/2020 f3 uh, which was found in march by nasa's new wise project and it is currently at magnitude 11 although this new comet will remain low in morning twilight it's expected to reach magnitude of 3 to 3.5 by mid july as it moves towards the sun so there is another comet so if you not able to see comet swan there is another one comet new wise which is coming to our visit so yeah that's all for today uh, i hope that you learned some interesting facts about this comet and how to see it where to see it and these are the references if you want to read i'll give it in the description So if you have stick around till the end of this video I hope that you have liked this video so please drop a like if you have any queries comments please drop it in the comment section of this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed please consider to subscribe to this channel which is science non science we come up with similar videos explanatory videos we are also available on other social media platforms so do check it out and I'll give the links in the description and I hope that you get to see this comet. So with that I'll see you in the next video.